Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I wanted to talk about using audio effects inside of Fairlight, and in particular, using VSTs that you're downloading or buying or wherever you're getting them. So if you didn't know already, Fairlight is the audio workspace within DaVinci Resolve, and it's down here. If you click on the little music sign, it brings you to Fairlight. There's a lot of awesome things about Fairlight. I'm not going to get into that now. Maybe in another video I'll do some more. Um, I'm not even <laughs> anywhere close to being considered an expert by any means in uh, audio in general, but especially in Fairlight. There's a really just a lot of cool stuff you can do here, but one of the things that I love, 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 love about DaVinci Resolve is its ability to work with VSTs so well. So if you don't know what a VST is, basically that is a plugin that you use uh, typically, you know, years before it was used in audio finishing software So, it, or production in general. If you were using Pro Tools or some type of true, I mean, I guess Fairlight at one point, um, you know, true audio program DAW, you could use a VST as a plugin. So you could go to any website you wanted, purchase a VST, and it's kind of like a universal language that these DAWs and now NLEs can read. That was all gibberish to you. Go learn about DAWs and NLEs. <laughs> it's just a term for editors, basically, or programs. So again, the fact that DaVinci Resolve works with VSTs, and it works with, it works with VSTs very well, too. That's one thing that I want to really stress, because there are, like, Premiere Pro does support VSTs. Uh, I found that they did not work very well unless they were, like, tailored to Premiere Pro, where this, I mean, literally any VST that you could download, you could search a bunch of free VSTs, and basically what these are is they are effects. So in particular, the one that I want to talk about today, and this isn't a review or video on the uh, this product, but I wanted to show you how you implement this VST workflow, um, whatever you may be doing. So we're jumping in Fairlight. So I got this audio clip here, and let's take a listen to it because it sounds like garbage. To me, a convention theme is something that challenges us. Okay, so you can tell there's a lot of background noise. We were actually shooting near a highway, so unfortunately there wasn't really much we could do. Uh, we're shooting on a lav mic at the time, and the lav mic kind of has a weird like S, like it does something to the S's, uh, makes them sound kind of weird and gross. And yeah, so I mean, in, in my case right now, I just want to use a VST to denoise and de-S this. So I went ahead and I purchased before the Accusonus Era bundle. Uh, great bundle, totally recommend it. They have nothing to do with me at all. I purchased it with my own money, but definitely if you're looking for like noise reduction and like uh, audio repair tools, they probably make the best, maybe other than like Isotope, but that's like a thousand dollars. I think I paid a hundred bucks for these. So you're going to go over here to Fairlight and you're going to want to make sure that your mixer is selected. So if you don't see this, your mixer is not selected. Now, if you have a bunch more audio tracks, they're going to pop up. The key thing is, is you're going to have to separate these based on what you need per audio track. So in my edit, if I know that all of audio one needs noise reduction, this de -esser, I'm going to make sure that all those are on audio one and nothing else. Because remember, this is track based. I think you can do it through clips, but I don't like doing that really. So, so anyway, audio one, we know that's the one. Click on our mixer button if we don't have it. Boom, there we go. And you're going to see where it says here in the mixer effects and a little plus sign. So if you click on that, you're going to see Fairlight. So these are the ones built in. AU, which I want to say is like Audition. I don't remember. Personally, I would just go with just straight to the VSTs. Now, this is going to show you any VST that you have installed. Um, so I have a bunch of VSTs. You can see there's even some virtual instruments. Those do not work in here, so uh, that will not work. But he, like I even have like a, a comp. Um, this is through, uh, oh boy, it's native instruments. I can't remember it, what part it was with, but either way, um, that is a comp. So again, any VST that's going to show up there. Now we just added that. I don't want that. So I'm going to click that little thing and click delete. We're going to click that again, VSTs. And we're going to select whatever VST you want. In our case, the era noise remover. So, uh, the era noise remover is really awesome. Like I said, this is going to be a review of that. But I know that I want to probably leave it around that 40%. We're going to just kind of see what it sounds like as is. So here's the before. To me, a convention theme is something that challenges us. Let's go back. To me, a convention theme is something that challenges us. That's pretty good. It doesn't really have much of that like tin can digital sound that sometimes happens. So I really like that. Now, one thing that you can see is the cool thing about these VSTs is they open up in their own window in whatever UI they have. So 
if you know you get a compressor like i showed you before it's going to show up with that compressor that is your ui this is your little window and that is your vst well, if you exit out of that VST, it is not gone forever, don't worry. You come over here, you can see the VSTs that you have. So if you have several different effects, they're gonna show up here. And you can just click the little settings, boom, pops back up. If you wanted to turn it off, you can easily just click that little red button, and there it goes. And again, I showed you before, we can delete it. So now, I want to add another one. I wanna add a de So I'm gonna go to de We're gonna just see what this sounds like with it off. To me, a convention theme is something that challenges us. I turn it on to me a convention theme is something that challenges us nice I'll probably bring it up just a now if I want to move it one of the only uh, kind of annoying things that I've noticed is there's no real easy way to click and drag and move them like in logic pro X you can just kind of like drag your thing down I wish that was the case but unfortunately you would have to just change those and, and go back around so that's a little bit annoying um, but again especially if you had a ton of these and you wanted to go back and change something but just Try to think about what you want to do before. <laughs> so let's take a listen to what this sounds like before and after. To me, a convention theme is something that challenges us. So that's without anything. And here's with everything back on. To me, a convention theme is something that challenges us. Awesome. Now, again, I haven't done any EQ or any compressors or any of that kind of stuff. So if we were using VSTs again, we could come in here. And of course, we could put on, let's do this EQ, which is the one through... Uh, native instruments i don't know why i keep forgetting that <laughs> um we'll probably just we'll see what vocal sounds like convention theme is something that challenges us so let's actually turn that off we can also turn it off right here too to me a convention theme is something that challenges us to me a convention theme is something that challenges us i like that i probably bring a little more of the lows up just a touch um but yeah, so there's three VSTs now that we have. To me, a convention theme is something that challenges us. And I really like that. I mean, I, you know, you can still hear the background noise, but that's kind of, you, you know, you can't fix it that well. But I do think that working with VSTs inside of DaVinci Resolve is super easy. I really love it. And I love the fact that they're giving you the flexibility to be able to use other things because I'm going to be real with you. Some of this stuff sucks. <laughs> Some of the uh, Fairlight effects, actually most of them are not very good. Um, the compressor is not bad. I like using the dynamics because you can do the sort of auto ducking for music. Uh, the EQ is fine, but typically speaking, if you're going to be adding effects, especially if you're doing any type of specialty effects, definitely I recommend looking at VSTs. Again, there's a ton of free ones out there you can easily purchase for super cheap, like you can find a million of them. Um, but in, in my case, I, I especially love them for the audio repair and uh, I love the ART again, you know, be sure to check them out. But anyway, guys, hope this video is uh, interesting to you and helpful. And if you guys want to see more tutorials in Fairlight or again, DaVinci Resolve in general, let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.